Hey guys, this is Brian. We're back with the Frostbite JL, and today we're going to run Jack's Tracks. This should be a fun one. Here we go, guys. Here's a cool old abandoned car. It's been here quite a while. It's been mentioned in books about the area before. So we do got a little bit of a drive to the trailhead. Jack's tracks is going to be about 82 miles overall with about 22 of them off pavement. So we did have a little driving to get there, but it's definitely worth it. Here we go, guys. Alright, here's going to be our first little obstacle. We're going to have a little step down here and then a sharp left and then an uphill hill climb. This one's pretty cool to get the trail started. The scenery out here was definitely different than in Moab. I kind of liked it. These trees are pretty interesting and then the cliffs are a cool cream color. Okay, we're coming up on our first big ledge drop here. There's a bunch of these in the area. It definitely makes it a little more interesting. Jack's Tracks is going to be a level 5 trail for us today. There are a couple obstacles that are noteworthy. There's one called Top Notch and then one called El Diablo. We also got a pretty cool hill climb coming up here in just a second. This obstacle was pretty fun. There was a section up at the top with a little ledge that some of the two doors were having trouble with. These four doors seem to go up at okay. It's gonna be my turn here in a second.
That hill climb was pretty fun. I did kiss my driver's side rear a little harder than I would have liked to on that tree. All right, now we're gonna go over top notch. It's basically gonna be a little ridge line here with a drop on each side. This one's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna come down off that ridge now. Those little trees off to the right, the real pokey looking ones, it was interesting to learn that those are actually used for fences to keep cattle in. They use that instead of barbed wire. It was fun watching this TJ Rubicon on the rocks. Definitely made me miss my old TJ. Okay, if you see that hill off in the distance, that's going to be our next major obstacle. This one's going to be called El Diablo. It's a pretty steep hill climb with nothing around it, so it is pretty intimidating for the driver, but it's not too challenging for the Jeeps. We're going to go up it here in a second. It's difficult to tell on camera, but this is a pretty steep obstacle. When you're sitting in the seat, it does uh, definitely get the blood pumping. There is a little ledge about halfway up this hill climb that does require a front locker, they were saying, so you definitely want to pop that on if you come up on this one. Alright, we're going to watch this Jeep go up here in a second, and then it'll be my turn. Okay, we made it up that one, no problem. Definitely want to make sure that locker's on and take a look at your spotter. Thanks Gil for the spot. He was definitely one of our favorite trail guides of the week. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and descend down the backside here and carry on.
Even on day 4, I was still blown away by the awesome terrain out here in the Moab area. It's definitely cool off-roading in the high desert like this. Alright, we're going to continue on to this next little hill climb, and then we'll finish up the trail here in a minute. We're going to finish this trail on up with some higher speed sand roads here. It's definitely pretty out here. Okay guys, thanks for tagging along. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned, we got one more day of EJS. We're going to do Hell's Revenge. See you there.